Hey guys, what is going on? XD here back again with another video. In this video today, I'm going to show you how you can widen sounds in FL Studio so that you can create some space where you can fill in other sounds and you can also use this in vocals as well. So I'm going to show you using the FL Studio Fruity Enhancer. So I have a sound that I have here. Let me play, let me play this uh, little loop back quickly so you can hear how it sounds. So I'm just going to mute uh, the other sounds and I'm just going to leave the guitar playing, the guitar from Nexus. So that's the sound we're just going to focus on. We're just going to focus on. So if you have headphones on or your speakers, you know, have a nice stereo image, you're going to hear that the sound is mostly in the middle of um, of the stereo field, basically. So what we want to do with the sound is we want to enhance the sound so that it spreads out out of the middle of the stereo field onto the sides. You're going to hear quickly how the sound is going to change as soon as I engage um, the stereo enhancer. So I already routed it into a channel to save time. So I'm just going to switch on the fruity stereo enhancer. So this is without. And this is with. Just like that, just that symbol it already took the sound and made it sound really nice and wide and spread it out on the sides of the stereo field. So now you can pile in more sounds in the middle like your drums and your kicks and other sounds like plugs and so forth. So you can use the stereo enhancer that you have here in FL Studio natively. But I also like to use the Waves Doubler too, uh, the stereo one because, you know, we're, stereo, we're enhancing stereo basically. So never use the mono. What I like about the Waves stereo enhancer is that it has extra features that it has that allow you to control uh, to EQ the sounds and it also has a little bit a little bit of pitch stuff going on in there as well but I don't usually uh, play with it so much but I just use it to double and just get some really nice sound effects let me also engage that one so that you can hear how it sounds so I'm going to play the stereo enhancer and then I'm going to play the waves doubler so you can hear the two so firstly the the fr fruity stereo enhancer Okay, now the waves doubler. So it's not so much of a huge difference, but the doubler, uh, the waves doubler can, you know, allow you to do much more with your doubling, but they basically sound the same to me. I don't think there's so much of a difference that you would want to rush to go get the, you know, to spend money on the waves. Not saying it's a bad, if if you just want to widen uh, stuff only and you don't care about the extra features, then the fruity stereo enhancer is totally fine. Now you can also do this with vocals. Like I have a little vocal over here that I'm going to play for you so you can hear what it sounds without anything on it. And just make sure it plays back so it already has the doubler on so if i switch it off you can hear it's in the middle and if i put the fruity stereo enhancer so this is nice to do when you're working with vocals especially if you don't want to double vocals like do a double take you can do this to a vocal uh, that's kind of like a backup vocal on the chorus section or it's a backup vocal to a lead vocal. You can just add the stereo enhancer and you can do that. But take note that when you add the stereo enhancer, it's not going to automatically do this. You have to load a preset called for strings. That's the one that r works perfectly for the sound. So you hear on the default, it's not doing anything. So just come here to the to the presets and just load for strings and then it's gonna do it so that's basically it that's basically how you can make sounds sound much nicer and more wider and bigger so you can still eq and still you know add other effects on but if you want it wide this is how you can do it and that's it for this video it was just a quick one today i hope you guys really enjoyed it let me know down below what other plugins you like to use when you want to stereo enhance sounds or make them much wider you can put them down there in the comments thank you guys so much for watching